My name is Guo Mengxi. I'm from Peking University. Uh, the presentation I bring to you today is one of our work this year, named the Layout Generation Algorithm of Graphic Design based on Transformer CVAE. This is the outline of my presentation today. I will make this presentation from the background methods, experimental results, to the conclusion of this work. First, the background. In fact, we all use graphic design in our daily life, such as magazines, web page, slides, and the mobile phone UI interface, which we use most frequently. However, graphic design is not an easy task for everyone. For some professional graphic designers, graphic design often consumes a lot of their time to do repetitive work. For normal people, we often need to use templates that are always not what we want. So in this work, we are working on an algorithm that can be used to automatically generate layout for everyone. Graphic design is essentially a series of components arranged on a canvas. This task can be simplified to a seek-to-seek -seek task. We input the components of, to be read and output the positions and size of those components on a canvas. There are two models that can be used to serve seek-to-seek -seek task well. One is LSTM and other is transformer mechanism with multi-head attention, which is very popular now. Because of the task is creating different layouts, the generative model is also a key part. In this work, we use conditional variational autoencoders as generative models. We call it VAE. Especially, the CVE model consists of an encoder and a decoder. The encoder maps the input to a lantern space, and then we sample this space to get a latent vector. The decoder decodes this vector into the final layout. Next comes our method part. Our model is a standard CVAE structure. We can say that encoder consists of a sim simple fully connected layer, and the decoder is composed of transformer structure. Each component is individually de in encoded and mapped to a latent vector. We will highlight the three strategies we use in this model. The first strategy is element disentanglement. Unlike VAE models, each graphic design component is mapped independently into a latent vector. We have nothing to do with code truncation. This is different from mapping all components into a vector. The element disentanglement strategy greatly increases the controllability of the model because we can independently modify the corresponding latent vector of one component as required without significantly affecting the other components. just like this. 
The second strategy we use is called facial disentanglement. Specifically, we further disentangle the corresponding latent vector for each component into coordinates x, y, and their y's and height, w and h, and other information. Such disentangle great, greatly increases the interruptibility and controllability of this model. Thanks to feature disentanglement, we can easily introduce the pure principle of graphic design into the model. For example, the alignment principle we introduced in this paper. We only need to set the x latent vector of the alignment component to be the same, and the components can naturally be left aligned. This is the loss function we use to introduce these two strategies. In addition, we further combine the principles of graphic design, thus introducing three evaluation matrix, which is specialist uh, alignment, repeated, and contrast, which further enrich the evaluation of generation of graphic design task. Next, we will show our experimental results that the performance of our model. First of all, thanks to the element disentanglement, as shown in the figure, we can control the generation of each component independently without affecting other existing components. And the feature disentanglement and the alignment principle makes the layout more neat. From the figure, we can see that by introducing an alignment strategy, the title represented by the yellow box is clearly aligned with the text represented by the black, black box. Compared with other methods, all method is obviously better than them in both quantitative and quantitative aspect. And finally, the conclusion. In this paper, we proposed an end-to-end -end model using transformer-based CVAE to achieve the state-of-art performance on layout generation task. As far as we know, this is the first work to prove that Transformer structure has good potential in the layout generation task. And we use the element disentanglement and the feature disentanglement in this work. For the element disentanglement, we treat each component independently and imply its bounding box as an independent latent vector. These two strategies significantly improve the controllability and interpretability of the model. And as last, this paper combines three common principles of graphic design, alignment into the model, and design a site of uh, continuity matrix that focuses on the global layout quality. Thanks.